all indices satisfy the following rules. The first rule, when you have the same base with the multiplication sign, you add the indices. So an example in that case, when you have 2 raised to power half by 2 raised to negative a half, then same base with multiplication sign, you add the indices. So a half plus negative a half is 0. Any number raised to power 0 is 1. The second law, when you have same base with the division sign, you subtract the indices in that order. So an example in that case, when you have 3 raised to power 4 divided by 3 raised to power 2, that is same base with the division sign, you subtract the powers in that order, you end up with 3 raised to power 2. A power inside multiplies with the power outside. That is the third law of indices. When you have a power inside the bracket and a power outside, then the power outside multiplies the power inside in case of a single term. Then the fourth one, when you have a, a product or you are dividing two numbers in bracket, then there's a power outside. That power outside multiplies all the powers inside. So in that case, when you have, for instance, x raised to power 2 by y raised to power 3, then the whole of that is raised to power a. So a multiplies all the powers inside. Now to use all the laws of indices, then the terms you are dealing with must have either multiplication or division sign. So the laws of indices will only apply when the terms have a division or a multiplication sign. Example number one. So first example, if you are given a case like this, simplest form. So if you let 1 minus x cubed to be a, then we'll have a raised to negative a half minus a raised to power half divided by a. So you substitute that term in bracket 1 minus x cubed to be a to make it in a simplest form. So bracket the numerator and denominator to make them single terms. So to simplify that further, to simplify a raised to, neg to negative a half and a raised to power half, we multiply both numerator and denominator by a raised to power half. So a term outside the bracket multiplies all the terms inside the bracket. So in the numerator, the first term there we have a to negative a half times what is outside, a to power half. Then it is minus. The second term in the bracket, in the numerator, is a to power half, then times the term outside the bracket, a to power half. So the term which is outside the bracket is a common factor for all the terms inside. Then same denominator, we have inside the bracket, a outside the bracket, a raised to power half. Now, if you utilize the laws of indices, the first term there in the numerator, when you work out the first term in the numerator using the laws of indices, so that is a raised to negative a half by a raised to power half, so same base with multiplication sign, you add the powers. When you add a negative a half and a half, you get a raised to power zero. Any number raised to power zero is one. So the first term in the numerator is 1. The second term in the numerator is a raised to power half 
then it is times a raised to power half so loss of indices same base with multiplication sign you add the powers so a half plus a half you get one so we end up with a raised to power one which is just a so the second term in the numerator is a then you go to the denominator So in the denominator we have a times a raised to power half. So in the denominator we are multiplying a times a raised to power half. So any number without a power is raised to power 1. So that is a raised to power 1 times a raised to power half. So same uh, loss of indices, same base with multiplication sign, you add the indices. So 1 plus a half. That is a raised to power 3 over 2, which can be expressed in the form as a cube. Then the whole of it is raised to power a half, because 3 times a half is 3 over 2. That is the third law of indices. So in the denominator, we have a raised to power 3 in a bracket. Then the whole of it is raised to power a half. So... When we now simplify that term, we now get in the numerator, in the numerator, we now have 1 minus a. The first term there we got 1, then the subtraction in between, then the second term we got a. In the denominator we have a raised to power 3, the raised to power half. Then on the rules of indices, we said the fractional powers are roots. So fractional powers are root, meaning a half is square root. So it is square root of a cube. So to get a simplified form of our expression, we now substitute the value of a. Remember a was 1 minus x cube. So where there is a, we will put the value of a we substituted. So value of a is 1 minus x cube. So where there is a, you bracket and you substitute the value of a. So where there is a, you put the value of a, 1 minus x cube. In the denominator, we have square root of. So where there is a, you put the value of a in bracket, which is 1 minus x cube. Then the whole of that value of a is raised to power 3. So if you simplify that, If you simplify that in the numerator, when you open that bracket, in the numerator we have 1 minus in bracket, 1 minus x cube. Then all over in the numerator square root of in bracket 1 minus x cube raised to power 3. So in the numerator we have 1 minus 1. If you open that bracket negative into negative, is a positive sign. If you open that bracket in the numerator, so negative into negative, is a positive sign so we get plus x cube negative into negative is a positive sign then that one is over the denominator the denominator is already in its simplest form that is square root of inside the bracket 1 minus x cube you close the bracket then the whole of that is raised to power 3 so in simplest form when you simplify the numerator you can see positive 1 and negative 1 there is giving you x cube. You remain with x cube. 1 minus 1 is 0. So in the numerator, you remain with x cube. In the denominator, 1 minus x cube. All of that raised to power 3, then the square root of that. So that is the simplest form of the above expression.